What is up everybody, I'm your Legendary Commander, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In this video, we're going to talk about Missy Step. I know this is another redo, but there's a lot that's changed and a lot that has made this so much better. So in general, getting right into it, Missy Step is a bonus action spell that lets you teleport 18 meters, that's further than you can run, to a place that you can see, and sometimes technically places that you can't see, but the game believes you can see. The greatest power of this spell is the extra movement that it provides. Essentially, it turns any character with this spell or ability to move an extra 30 feet, essentially having a dash action for a bonus action. That said, it's more like a jump dash because you can technically clear areas that you might have to zigzag up because you can just teleport to that location. It can also be used in combination with other spells like Dimension Door so someone else can carry you to a location and then you can proceed to Missy Step to further your distance. Basically, it'll allow you to cover a large distance. Another thing the spell can do is allow you to put yourself in a proper striking position while still having your action. Be it a spell, like Disintegrate, which actually was a saving throw, and you're just trying to get line of sight, or a stealth attack where you're coming up behind an enemy just to stab him in the back, well, it gives you that opportunity. Something else that's really good at is performing rescue operations. Sometimes you have your character maybe in bad shape, if not dying on the ground, and you don't want to use a scroll, or you just want that enemy dead. One, you could teleport over and kill that enemy possibly with a close range attack if that's what your character does. Or perhaps healing word isn't going to come in time. You need to get over to him and pick him up before he dies. But it's also going to take your run distance plus Missy Step to pretty much reach him. Thus, then you use your action to pick him up. Something else that works well against is when you get immobilized. A lot of times the frightened condition and or just being immobilized in general can be very annoying, especially when you're a fighter. You can use Missy Step to kind of negate that effect by teleporting next to the enemy and then still striking such enemies. In this case, you can see a Steel Watcher sitting on top of a building. I teleported up there to catch him with an immobile character. The spell is a great way in general though to catch runners. Not only can you just teleport to somebody when you're mobile, but you can catch those runners using the bonus action to once again clear areas where you would have to zigzag or maybe can't reach it all by normal means. Another thing it's really great for is a fighting retreat, especially if someone like a wizard gets ambushed. Wizard gets surrounded, you choose to misty step away, avoiding any opportunity attacks, you run your normal movement, and then you turn around and cast maybe Ray of Frost or shoot your crossbow, or you could just dash and run further away and lead the enemy into a trap. And sometimes you can be surprised by like a steel watcher ready to explode. You just used your movement to get over there, you used your action, and now it's going to explode on its turn. Well, you can use Missy Step to teleport away and not take that damage. Then there's the option to use Missy Step to teleport behind enemies that might be blocked in a doorway with a mage hidden behind there that keeps stepping out but then taking cover. Well, you could teleport past them and then go cut the mage down. Well, mage is gone, the fight might get a lot easier now. And one last thing you can use it for is bypassing an enemy's vision cone. Now you do break stealth whenever you cast a spell, but you can sometimes bypass enemy vision cone that would actually trigger them and set them off and then be out of stealth and not set them off. Now I must say some of these situations you shouldn't find yourself in. For example, the Steel Watcher, in theory you can just walk away from it, but sometimes you make a mistake and well now you're in trouble. Well, if you don't want Gale to die, how do you get him out of there? If he has his bonus action, that's how you do it. Hopefully you never find yourself in these situations, but sometimes an out-of-the-box thought process might help save you from a bad problem. But with that said, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends. But you all take care, and I will catch you next time.